one, go. Matt, and this is a beautiful area. And just driving through here, it's so relaxing, so much wildlife. And um, I have two little girls, and racing the, my two little girls, I'm, up, I'm wondering what it'd be like for them to live here, and what, how life would be different, say, if they were to live north of Kingston Road. Tell me, what was your experience growing up in the area? Well, we moved here when I was about 11 or 12 years old, and I found that it was a very uh, tight-knit community, a uh, very close community. Um, I started school at Chine Drive, and um, there were very small classes, so uh, we got to know a lot of the other students at school very well. Um, and being so close to the park is really great. Um, you feel you're so close to nature and lots of outdoor activities, and you don't have to go very far, so... It's a great sort of small community. Now, I've heard a lot of people talking about the Chine Drive School. So tell me, what's special about that school? Well, it's really small. It's a very small school, so you get to know everyone really well. Uh, and you're not in this really big institution with hundreds of other students. Uh, it's very small, so that sort of contributes to the community feel. Oh, wonderful. And so, um, as a child growing up, what were some of the things that you were doing there um, that were different from where you did in North York before? No, before this? East York. East York. So, um, how, how was life here different than what it was like in East York? Hmm, that's a good question. <laughs> um, spending a lot of time in the park, riding our bikes out to the park. We didn't have to go over roads or intersections or anything. We could just ride our bikes right out to the park. Um, spending a lot of time there, walking to school, it was so close. Um, so that was really great, just okay. being in a, a nice small community with a nice park and being And, and not too much traffic, I, yes. I noticed that. Mm -hmm. Do you, did you spend a lot of time looking at the lake and, and uh, walking around? Yes, absolutely. We spent a lot of time playing in the park, going to the playground and going into the meadow, playing there on our bikes and <laughs> taking the dog out to the park, walking the dog through the park. So we spent a lot of time doing that. Wonderful, wonderful. Did you ever get a chance to actually name some of the wildlife? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, there was, there was one raccoon that we named Moses, but okay. that's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually heard a lot of, I, I think it's owls. Are there owls in the neighborhood? Is it oh. rain that I've been hearing? Or, oh, or maybe. Are they doves? Oh, I'm, I'm sure there's owls. There's all sorts of things. There's deer and foxes and gophers and all sorts of little things like that. So. And, 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 and when you were 12, did you find that exciting or were you scared? <laughs> yeah, oh, I thought it was really exciting to have deer in the neighborhood. I thought that was just... That was great. That was something that happened in the country, so that was really fun to have wildlife around. So you have good memories of the area? Yes, absolutely. And you made good friends? Too? Mm -hmm. Yes, I actually met my current partner when we moved into the oh. neighborhood when I oh. was 11 or 12 and we're still together. So Wow! Yeah. <laughs> wow. So yeah, the neighborhood is about long-term relationships, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I noticed that's very stable and, and kind of caring and, and uh, mm -hmm. a lot... Um, a lot more relaxed, I find, too, than some of our other neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Well, Madeline, thank you very much. Oh, thank and, you. And uh, I wish you luck mm -hmm. in uh, your new place. Thank you. Oh, well done. That?